with how beautiful this is, the fact that we're recording, <laughs> and how demanding the shaders are. This is phenomenal. The god rays, as I would call it. Greetings one and all, Fennec here, back with another video, and for once, it's something that's brand new, which is something we don't actually normally do on this channel, which is a slight surprise, because as you know, if you've seen previous videos, we normally do older, retro-ish stuff, so today's video will be just to see how well this small, it's frankly insanely small, here's a scale reference of how small this computer is, how small the M4 Mac Mini is. And as you saw by um, when I went up to about this Mac, this is indeed the base model. So we'll be doing a few different videos about different games here and there. For this test, it's going to be very simple Minecraft. And if I can find it. Yeah, once it smooths out a bit. Frame rates you can see will eventually hit into the 600 to 800 range once everything loads. Which is what you'd expect. It's a brand new computer running stock of Minecraft. Uh, without recording, yeah, you'll hit 800 FPS. We actually just hit it there, which is really impressive considering we are recording with OBS. So recording and hitting 800 FPS at times is pretty cool. But hey, it's Minecraft. Of course, it's easy to run. This is probably the part you're waiting for, and that's going to be shaders. One of the more pretty shaders, in my opinion. You can expect to see... Let me get the name again of them. Super Duper Vanilla Shaders, which is a, one of my favorite shaders. You can expect to see anywhere from 100 to 150 FPS. Keep in mind, we are recording. So just look at the FPS up here and double it by like 40 50 or so when we're not recording it's frankly immensely impressive how well this small thing can uh, perform considering it's a small arm processor i'm quite impressed by it and if you want to see probably another probably the one of the most popular shaders if i had to guess that's going to be silders here's what that looks like Hitting around 80 FPS right now, so that'd probably be like 90 or 100 without recording. Yeah, these ones, my phone went off in the background, these ones, quite a bit more demanding, and in my opinion, they don't look as good. Actually, I say they're about the same, actually, they look pretty good. But performance is indeed worse, as you'd expect. I was originally going to do this video just recording my screen off a phone, but I don't really have a good phone stand. But yeah, uh -huh. Silder's high. I'm not going to do Ultra or anything because that's going to tank the FPS even more. But Silder's is doable. A little choppy. Would be better without the recording, of course, as I've mentioned before. Alright, and we're back. I've dropped uh, another four or so shaders into the shader pack, so that should work. First up is... Uh, let's try con Continuum. Almost pronounced that wrong. Oh, that loaded a bit slowly. 60 FPS. So, translation. Probably 80 or so. Honestly, don't like these ones. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think I like the super duper ones a lot more. I'm pretty sure the super duper ones were um, optimized for Apple Silicon. I know someone's probably gonna mention that in the comments that I should be trying ones that are optimized, but we're doing a mix actually of normal shaders and the optimized ones. If that even matters, if they're optimized or not. Because it's all this Java stuff. Um, yeah, that, that kind of breaks the text a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Complementary Unbound is up next. Once again, probably can't pronounce stuff properly, but... This one looks much better, and the performance is better than the previous one, too. Not as good as Super uh, Duper one, but it is quite nice looking. The water is absolutely beautiful. It tanks FPS down to 60. 
Ah, oh, that damn, that's beautiful. And I will um touch the Mac right now for temperature. I will let you guys know about temperature later because I do have my opinions on that. But look at that. Got the sun rays coming through the water and everything. I'm going to quickly actually compare. How do you guys look underwater? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's no competition at all. Hands down. Unbound is beautiful. Although, if you want performance on a base model Mac, Super Duper is probably the way to go. But if you have a higher end Mac, maybe you have like a 20 core GPU. Maybe for some reason you have a Mac Studio or Mac Pro, then definitely use these. Because like the water hands down makes up for everything. Any performance hits. Like, uh, with how beautiful this is, the fact that we're recording, <laughs> and how demanding the shaders are. This is phenomenal. The God rays, as I would call it. Hands down. We have one more shader to test, which I don't think is going to beat the one we just tested, but... Actually, we have two more to test, actually. BSL's up next. Performance, 80 FPS. Not bad. It has, like, a slighter, um, wider look to it. Not bad, though. Let's look underwater. Do we get those god rays? No. <laughs> no. Unbound once again. I gotta say, takes the win here. Performance though with the BSL, pretty good so far. And finally, we have Astra. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. All right, what's the error? Jab a quick unexpected. Yeah, I know. I know it did. Yeah, I don't really have enough time to go through what happened, but. Probably don't try those ones then. One quick thing before we close out, and it's kind of something important to keep in mind depending what model of Mac you have, is you might want to download Mac's fan control. Very simple application, assuming it actually opens. Uh, don't, don't fail me now. There we go. The Mac Mini, and I assume other Macs, can get quite hot. So I think this is a fairly helpful thing to um, download. Simply click on here. Whenever I'm playing Minecraft with shaders for any extended amount of time, or actually any game for that matter, I'll also just put the frames, not frames, uh, the RPMs up to about 2,000. And you'll slightly hear it, but once again, if you have the RPM up to 2,000 or so, it makes a massive difference. Because you don't want your Mac to go over like 100 Celsius or anything, because that's a bit too toasty in my opinion. But just something to keep in mind. When you're, if you want to play for extended hours and hours, you don't want <laughs> your Mac to overheat. I can live under here. It's beautiful. But yeah. Go away, squid. Oh god, it went fast. Um, that was today's video. I'm gonna try to make more videos more lately. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit rushed, but you guys get the idea of the, honestly, frankly, immense power of this thing. And I won't keep you here any longer. Have a great night, day, or whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.